not actually a surgeon. Oh no. It's probably coming out the other side now, is it? Right, so we've now got a Kinder Egg or Kinder Bar wrapper accessory. Hello, welcome back. Um, today we're doing a little fix again on the bongo. So many things that have been fixed and to fix on the bongo. But today uh, we're doing the steering wheel. Well, I'm hoping to do the steering wheel. I've had an idea. Um, I don't know if it's been done before, probably has, don't know. Or if not, this is the first. But I've gone and acquired, I don't know if you're in focus, a syringe and also a needle for it, which should go on here. So I've got one of them. Also got some super glue, like 10 of them for a quid in Poundland. Um, basically, I'm gonna try and repair the steering wheel. Um, I'll overlay some footage here, but you can see that like the uh, the rubber out outer of the uh, steering wheel moves independently of like the frame inside. Like the, I assume it's like a metal um, frame, but yeah, it, it sort of twists in your hand. It's really annoying, because when you turn it, it's sort of like, it's like riding a, a motorbike as you're going around. So what I'm gonna do, hopefully, is draw up some of this super glue into the needle and then how much is in here? 2.6 mil. Well, this is only one mil but yeah it should be enough. If not we'll do it twice. I'm gonna try and inject um, the needle into the inside the rubber so that it's into like the metal part and then inject the super glue into it if that makes any sense. And then hopefully just give it a little wiggle and then hopefully it should uh, stick and stop moving. So that's the plan. So let's try and draw some of this up. And whenever I use super glue, I always end up getting it all over me. Now, I don't even see this very well. Um, now, let me go and grab a light quick. Hope you can see a bit better now. Um, so, like I said, I've never done this before, but I'm just gonna jab this in. like so and believe it or not I'm not actually a surgeon I know you think I am judging by these mad skills oh is it drawing up oh it might be too thick oh no it's not working Maybe it's just air at the end, hang on. Bear with me. There we go. Got some glue coming up. vacuum inside. Um, what's going to be an easier way of doing this? Tip it that way. Sorry if you can't see, hopefully you can. I'm a one man show here trying to do this. Me. Oh, there we go. Pretty sure that bubble there is actually vacuum. It's not. It's uh, if I let go of the syringe, it's trying to pull itself in. So I'm just going to hold it there, so that, that vacuum pulls a little bit more in. There you go. All right, we're gone back to ambient ish. Still pulling. Okay. Right. We've got about. 0.7 mil of glue. There we go. Will it be enough? Right, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to put this thing back on in the hope that I don't ooh, stab myself and glue my veins together. Alright, can you see that? Yeah, we've got 0.3 mil over there. So we've got 0.7 in there. So that should be enough. Let's go and give it a go. Right, ready for this? Let me just jump in. 
shut the door. So yeah, this is the uh, the issue. It's not um, like dangerous, right? it's just annoying. Like It's like you're revving a motorbike, but every time you turn you're sort of like, your arm's all over the place. So I'm gonna go for the big fix. So let's get this off. Okay, oh, sorry. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually pulling my pants here. Needles scare me. Right, let's just go straight in the middle. Are you, yeah, you can see that. Okay, here we go. Oh, that feels weird. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think the glue is actually starting to go off inside the, the syringe. Give it a little wiggle. Okay, let's go for another one. Uh, oh no! Uh oh. Right, we'll pretend this isn't happening. Look, the glue is going everywhere. Use this Kinder wrapper. Oh, which I've now glued to the. Oh God Almighty! What is happening here? Paper? Bit of paper. Oh no. Right, so we've now got a Kinder egg or Kinder bar wrapper accessory as well. Oh, I can feel that going off inside actually. Right, let's put a bit here. You can sort of feel the metal inside, it sort of starts to scratch. And yes, that glue is definitely going off in, in the syringe. You can see it's all going white, so I'm going to have to hurry up a bit, give it a little twist. Oh, that is going off, nice. This is working. Let's go in here. And the syringe is getting harder to push. Come on. Oh, might be it. Come on. No, that is it. Okay, luckily I've got... Oh, that's what that's for. Aha! Uh -huh. Stops you stabbing yourself. I'm going to put that thing back on as well, I think. Because I'm massively scared. Oh no, it doesn't come out now. Okay. I'm just going to push that. Oh, I don't know what I've done. Okay, right, I've got a sharps box anyway, so I'm going to put that in there. Right. Let's leave that to set. It's a little bit loose here, but that is solid there. I might go and get some more glue, another syringe, and just jab a few more bits in. But you can see the uh, syringe, the glue sort of going white in the syringe. So, right, let me come back in two secs. Right, round two. I'm gonna have to hurry up a bit because I think the glue's going off again. It's still clear at the minute. Right. Ready? I think that bit's actually done, but I'll just jab a bit more in. Here we go. Oh. It's probably coming out the other side now, is it? Oh no, not again. Oh no, the glue's gone off where the plunger is and it's not working why are you not working let's try it here yeah it's not happening I don't even see but the plunger is like seized oh and now it's broken oh no that's a shame Try one more time, just give it some welly. No, need a new syringe. But anyway, I think you get the idea. Oh, that is lovely now. I don't even think I need any more to be fair. 
I need to get all this glue and Kinder Egg stuff off, but look at that. That is, oh, I'm happy with that. There's a little bit of movement there and just there, but the main bit was this bit and it was just sort of uh, spinning like that. And now you can see, uh, I'm actually moving that pretty hard. It's not moving, so success. Right, I got one in. There's the other one, I don't you can see that, it's going like, it went really milky, but the actual, it's still semi-fluid, but the, uh, the plunger itself has like glued itself to the, uh, the outer casing. But I think we've succeeded in what we aim to do. I've got one syringe left. So if it breaks or if it, I don't know, I'll just see how it goes. I might put one more in. Um, but I'll bring the, I was doing it in the kitchen, the, the needle bit, and then running outside. But I think if I just do it in position, so steering wheel was there and just pull it in, chuck the thing down, bang it in and push it in. I think that's the way to do it. You've got to be quick. If you do it, be quick. Um, and don't get the gel either. I imagine that's probably not going to be very good. But also, get yourself a sharps box so you're not throwing these in the rubbish because some poor soul gets stabbed and glue their veins together, I expect. So I'm going to dispose of them correctly and the third one if I use it. But yeah, if you did like the video, Hit subscribe, much appreciated. Um, I think 12% or something of you that watch this video or these videos are subscribed. So if you're not, why not? Hit the subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Um, if you're feeling daring, hit the little bell and then it will tell you when I next upload. So if you like bongo videos and MX5 videos and just general crap, then hit subscribe. Give the uh, video a like as well if you want, up to you. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video thing. Bye.